Now let's talk uh, 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 for a little while on uh, ways to extend the frequency bandwidth of the uh, microstrip antenna. As I mentioned before, one of the limitations of the microstrip antenna is its uh, actually limited uh, frequency bandwidth. And uh, a, a very interesting and uh, a very interesting and promising way to extend the uh, uh, frequency bandwidth of the antenna is to take, for instance, a standard uh, microstrip antenna, uh, which we see here. Uh, in this case, we are talking about a microstrip aperture coupled uh, microstrip antenna and fragment uh, the, uh, the conductive patch. Uh, uh, on, um, on top of the antenna in, uh, or subdivide it into many pixels. Now, those pixels can be actually turned on and off by, in a computer simulation and uh, we can, this entire uh, structure can be analyzed by an optimization algorithm like a genetic algorithm or PSO algorithm in order to obtain maximum bandwidth. And this is done by actually uh, using this uh, optimization algorithm in which we either turn on or off pixels on the patch. And finally, with the objective or the design goal to increase the bandwidth as much as possible. Now, what happens here is actually that we are not talking anymore about one resonant uh, cavity domain, but of very, of many uh, resonant domain of each pixel. And all those resonant domains are actually coupled here. And because we have so many tiny resonant cavities and they are coupled, we are able actually to increase the bandwidth of the device uh, up to 70-80% as we can see here. Okay, uh, So this is in terms of wideband uh, extension. Another important issue of microstream antennas is actually miniaturization. Miniaturization can be obtained actually by using for instance fractal geometry. Like uh, fractal geometry is actually a way to, uh, it's a family of function that uh, evolves with the order of the fractal. So, for instance, if we start with uh, the basic shape, like a triangular, we obtain a one frequency, a resonant frequency. As we increase uh, the order of the fractal to, let's say, David star, like uh, it's seen here, we obtain uh, another resonant frequency. And if we go further with this type of uh, fractal order, we obtain another frequency. So how those uh, shapes are related to the resonant frequency? It turns out that the frequency, the resonant frequency of the patch is proportional to the total length of the edges. So if, the, if we count the total uh, length of the edges in uh, this case compared to this case, we obtain here a longer antenna, even though the area of the antenna is smaller. So what we obtain here actually is a lower uh, fre resonant frequency with a lower uh, area, and this is actually the essence of miniaturization. We can see here in this plot the reflection coefficient as a function of frequency for those three types of antennas. The green one is actually uh, the re uh, resonance or uh, the uh, reflection coefficient of the triangular. As we go to this design or to this design, actually the reflection coefficient moves to the left and we obtain actually a lower uh, resonant frequencies and we obtain miniaturization. So this is actually, we can see here, an extension to the standard or the classical uh, microstrip or patch antenna, which was uh, rectangular.